So we're still going. It's now 1.6 miles. Just having a bit of difficulty. Right, I think I've lost it. Um, let's hit the return to home. If, if you wanna know what visual line of sight is about and why it's important, watch this video. Clearly, I didn't fly out to 1.6 miles. I mean, I would never fly beyond what I can see. So what is visual line of sight or VLOS? So if you read the CAP722 document, which is the source of all your drone information, or it should be, uh, it states this. This is section 21.1. Operating with a visual line of sight means that the remote pilot must be able to clearly see the unmanned aircraft and the surrounding airspace at all times. Right, the other thing is corrective lenses. You can use glasses, but you cannot use binoculars, telescopes, things like that. So that isn't VLOS that is would be an assisted line of sight so you can't look and say well i can see like the airspace around the aircraft that that's not acceptable the other thing it says actually is conversely for some small aircraft operations out to a distance of 500 meters may mean it is not possible to assure or maintain adequate visual contact and so the aircraft must obviously be kept closer to the remote pilot so what does that mean how far can you fly your aircraft and still be able to maneuver it this is what we're going to test today. So here's the test. What I'm going to do is I've got a Mavic Air 2 here. I'm going to fly out first to 50 meters and then I'm going to cover the screen so I can't see what's going on the screen. I'm going to rotate it for 10 seconds and then I'm going to see if I can fly it back. Now bear in mind we might have an emergency at this point so there may be an aircraft coming, there may be a helicopter, there may be something else that's going on. Um, that, the drone might have caught fire. Um, so I need to be able to do this quickly. I need to be able to return it to home quickly. Test one, I'm about 50 meters. I've actually put it into sport mode because it was moving too slowly. I'm normally used to filming with this. And uh, it's been spinning. I've covered the screen. Can I get back? There's an air aircraft coming. So I can see which way it is. And I'm just going to bring it back, straight back to me. And down. <laughs> So 50 meters is good. Maybe you could put in the comments how far you think you can fly out and still see the drone. And then maybe you can put in the comments once you've tried it, how far you can actually do it. I'd be interested to see the differences. So I'll try for 130 meters. So there's a road over there. There are cables over there, but they are, if I keep it at like 40 meters probably, I'll be well out of the way. Now, I think that's tough to see. I'm wearing glasses, but my vision is 20 to 20 for as far as um, distance is concerned. Right, that was the wrong way. That's coming back to me. So that was a 150 meters. So that was kind of more than I expected to be able to see, to be honest. Glasses help with the sun as well. So I'm actually going this way again because people have moved. Now I'm at 210 meters. Okay. Uh, I can still see it, but I can't tell you really which way it's pointing. It's turning. But my only indication is going to be now which way it moves when I move the stick. Well, I'm able to identify pretty quickly which way it's coming back. Right, I'm 
300 meters, 294 meters. Now, literally, I knew which way I went out. Now I'm turning it, I could be going any direction. That's great. I was able to recover that pretty quickly, but without moving it, I wasn't able to see which direction I was going in. So you need to, I needed to actually move it before I, I needed to be able to move it before I could decide which way I had to go. So you probably can't see, we've got a bird coming up here. And that's one thing you don't see at distance, actually. You don't see the birds are flying about you. So I've been quite close before and there's been birds flying around the drone trying to attack it, trying to force it out of the airspace. Of course it doesn't know, it will just sit there. And if you can't see the birds, you don't know either because when you're at a distance, you can't see the birds in front of you, behind you, you know, 10 meters away, maybe 50 meters away. It's very difficult to judge distance when you're in that fire. So I'm not comfortable going beyond 300 meters. For me, that's, that's far enough, especially in the park. I don't want to go out bounds of the park because I know there's a school over there so I don't want to go too close to that uh, so that's as far as I'm going to go but I hear people say well I can see out my screen you know I can see from the camera exactly how far to go so let's see exactly what you can see out of your camera so we've got some posts here what we're going to do we're going to put them near the drone and see what distance what field of view we have so what I've done is I've put the drone over the landing spot put uh, two poles out so I can see roughly the field of view. Now I didn't realize it was quite this narrow. I thought it might be 90 degrees, 120 degrees. But I'd say that's about 60 degrees at most. So that's quite a tight field of view. If you imagine there's now, so you've got 60 degrees, there's 300 degrees that you can't see anything from. For birds, for aeroplanes, for ships, for helicopters. If you're concentrating on your subjects, it's very difficult to keep visual line of sight and understand what's going on around it. So even sometimes, if I'm trying to do a shot, I will sometimes have Rebecca, who's helped me today, check out your YouTube, YouTube channel, by the way, explore with Rebecca. So sometimes I'll have Rebecca, and she'll be concentrating on the drone while I'm concentrating on the shot. So she can keep visual line of sight. She's standing next to me, and she'll say, you're clear, 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 or I'm not. So I know whether to break off the shot or not really interested in so this is a video based around the rules in the uk now in the uk especially we have the principle of see and avoid so even if you have authorization to fly in a piece of airspace you still need to see and avoid the aircraft around you now you might say okay well see and avoid that's all well and good but what about the aircraft shouldn't they be seeing and avoiding my drone well no because they are manned aircraft and they need to focus on the safety and security of their own airplane so it's not for us to expect them to move, that's a bigger aircraft. We need to move ourselves. If you can't see your aircraft, how can you see and avoid? If you've enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button, uh, click the little bell icon, and even share it with your friends if you found it useful. Thank you.